Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about GPS receiver operation. Okay. So the GPS is mainly used to find the accurate location of the object. The object can be any kind of building or it can be a vehicle or it can be anything or it can be a person or anything. Okay. So mainly global positioning system GPS is used to find the accurate location. Okay. Uh, of uh, that particular object. Okay. So it performs the task by using signals received from the satellite. So at least three to four satellites are involved in order to find the global positioning system. So mainly the block diagram of a GPS receiver consists of receiving antenna, low noise amplifier, down converter, intermediate frequency amplifier, ADC analog to digital converter, digital signal processing unit uh, that gives uh, connected to a microprocessor and that particular microprocessor and the whole unit is connected to the display. Okay. So in that particular display, we can uh, find the exact details of uh, that particular map or something else. Okay. Now, what this particular receiver antenna does. So as the GPS receiver need to receive the signal, this it will be having an antenna. Okay. Which receives the signals from directly from the satellite. Okay. So the antenna, what uh, it is used here is like an circularly polarized antenna. Okay. So this helps in gathering most of the strong signals directly from the satellites. Okay. Now comes the low noise amplifier. We can short, we can also call it as LNA. Okay. So amplifier itself uh, indicates it amplifies the weak signal. Okay. So low noise amplifier, what does it do means it eliminates uh, if at all there is a noise as the signal is coming from a far away distance, if at all there is any kind of noise, it eliminates that particular noise and it strengthens the weak signal. Okay. Now uh, here comes the down converter. Okay. So it converts the frequency of a received signal to an intermediate frequency. Intermediate frequency means IF signal. Okay. So we will be having up converter as well as down converter. Okay. So this is mostly used in uh, the technologies which are related to the satellite communication. Okay. If at all you are uh, converting that into, if at all you are, you want to send a signal to an uh, satellite. Okay. You will be using some what like an uh, up converter in order to up the frequency. If at all you are using uh, or receiving the signal from the satellite. Okay. In order to use that particular signal, we need to down convert that. Okay. So, we hear what we are doing is we are converting down converting the received signal into an intermediate frequency or an IF signal. Okay. Now comes the IF amplifier. Okay. After that, after down converting that particular signal also, we need to amplify that particular intermediate frequency signal for which we are using IF amplifier. Okay. Now comes the purpose of ADC analog to digital converter. Okay. So as the name indicated, it performs the conversion of the analog signal. Okay. So which is obtained from the IF amplifier, the signal which we got from the IF amplifier. Okay. Uh, of uh, that particular analog signal, it performs a conversion of analog signal into digital. Okay. Now all these things, uh, sampling, quantization, everything process will be done in the analog to digital conversion process. Okay. Now like next comes the DSP, digital signal processor. Okay. So here the main processing will be done, which generates the C by A code. Okay. So all the GPS receivers, which are receiving the strongest signal will be uh, looking after the matching of a C by code. Okay. So in order to correlate with this particular satellite. Okay. So digital signal processor generates that particular C by code in order to, uh, match with that particular uh, pattern in order to correlate. Okay. Now comes the uh, main uh, uh, part that is the microprocessor. It performs the calculation of the position and also provide timing signals in order to control the operation of the digital blocks. Okay. So mainly the whole microprocessor with respect to the coding done or the, with respect to the process, it, it helps in the calculation of the position and also look after the, all the digital blocks as with respect to the inputs and the outputs and also with respect to the timing signals. Okay. So it sends the useful information at the end, whatever the information we require that will be displayed on the display unit. Okay. So 
based on that uh, monitor display unit we can uh, uh, calculate the map and everything or we can get the output through that okay so so we already know the p codes and c by codes right okay so the c by code gps receiver must be able to correlate signals from at least four satellite as i have already uh, discussed okay so for what in order to calculate the time delays to read the navigation message okay navigation message means what does it contain it contains the uh, data of the neighboring satellites okay and it, in order to calculate the orbits of the particular gps satellite as well as in order to calculate the position of the pseudo ranges okay p codes so the most of the core cba codes gps uh, gps receivers use an ic chipset that contains 12 parallel correlators okay so if at all it is using a 12 parallel correlator means okay so it can allow the processing signal up to 12 satellites at the same time okay but the most we will be using only 3 to 4 satellites in order to establish the global positioning system okay but whatever the this is uh, receivers we are using that particular chipset is a high performance uh, chipset that it can connect up to 12 satellites okay but the, at the most we will be using 3 to 4 satellites in order to signals get uh, synchronized okay so this is the a uh, receiver a uh, gps receiver operation okay on the whole okay thank you